All right, everybody. We back, man, in high demand, man. Really appreciate the love lately. But let's get into this, man. We're going to be talking about the raids and specifically raid bosses that is needed for this game. Um, now, we all know the good old raids. You know how they do us, man. <laughs> some good, some very bad. Okay, now we get good rewards. Half the time we do, we get some pretty straight rewards. Or, you know, crystal battle raids that you guys like to do for these sweet rewards. Now, I'm thinking Hatchy Act. Okay? Hatchy Act needs to be in this game as an official raid boss. Now, um, Hatchy Act is, you know, a part of his own story. You know, it's cool. It's a cool little movie. They redid it. I don't know why. The original was way better. But, um, yeah, it's cool. He's big old super tough old android destroyer thing thing thingy, right? Um, here to eradicate all the sands. Um, as you know in the movie, they switched this stuff up. But he was ruthless, right? He was very ruthless until, you know, they figured out his weak spot, right? And just like that 15 second interval. But nonetheless, the rewards would be good map. We can get a good map from this. We can fight at his level. That would be pretty cool. Especially the rewards. Maybe Dr. Raichi's outfit. That could be something we can get. Um, I, I would love that outfit, right? Um, anything. And, you know, even before he got killed. Like the ghost zombie thing he turned into. You know, the Tuffle style, right? Um, it kind of reminds me of Dude, right? From the Tournament of Power. Remember them two? They're probably the same person, man. You never know. They're probably the same Tuffles, man. There's a lot of Tuffles out here, man. There's a lot of Tuffle, uh, Tuffle energy. I want this outfit, though. Um, but, sadly, it ain't gonna happen. Try it! Anyway, um, have in the files, you already know. So, why not? Hatchy Act will be great. He's huge, right? Great immense of power, right? That would be my first pick. My second pick, you already know. It's Fat Janimba, or, or Janimba first form, whatever you want to do. I call him Fat Janimba. Yes, I'm fat shaming. Look at him. Fat. Okay? Grotesque, ugly, nasty, gelatinous. I want it. Ah, uh, make me so happy, right? Now, he's huge, so that could be a good raid boss. And he goes crazy. Remember um his powers? You remember that? I know you remember the powers. When you were shooting those things at Goku. Like, yeah, I know. That could be one of the raid boss techniques he does, too. Right, could be going crazy with that. I would like that. I ain't gonna lie. I would, I would like a fat genin, but like, look at this. I'm trying to avoid this all game and still trying to get your points. It could be, it could be amazing, guys. All right, it can do so much for us. All right, but look at that spinning like crazy. All right, but that could be devastating attacks. Of course, you know, we'll dodge them and we'll get the rewards. It looks similar to something like this, as you're seeing on the screen. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Topo getting it, you know, get the rewards, collect. Um, I think the rewards be maybe the plushy thing that we normally get, no, or the Janimba sword. Most likely, I think the Janimba sword plus the plushy, maybe just the plushy. I don't know, Janimba sword or plushy. All right, moving along, we got Bio Broly. Now, I know what you guys think, like what? Bio Broly, really? Like yes, Bio Broly needs to be in this game as an official raid boss. Now, as a character, I don't care. I don't really care. However he comes in here, but he'd be pretty cool. I mean, the movie was okay. It's okay. Let little Trunks and Goten shine. It's a little muck monster and nastiness. He does look like a Pokemon, okay? Ah, oh, muck. But anyway, <laughs> check this out. I really like this. Slam Jam. Ooh, you see how he goes? You see how you look? Right now, the raid bosses don't have to be super giant guys. They can be regular size, right? I don't like regular size, but... You know, we have some raid bosses that aren't big at all. They're huge, like Yamcha, Hercule, things like that. So, I mean, you can be, you know, mid-size, big size, doesn't really matter. But I would want this guy, Pure Menace, as raid boss. Get these rewards. Um, finally get the Trunks Goten gear that we all been wanting, especially Goten's. Right? That's like a hot commodity. Look at this. I want sleeves. All right. Um, I want Trunks's outfit. That's not in the game. I really want that too. Um, any Goten outfit, really, honestly, as you're seeing on the screen here. Um, that could be good. This Goten outfit, not this Goten outfit. Wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving along, um, we got, um, Bergamo. Now, I know I've been talking Bergamo a lot in this DLC because I do think he's coming some shape or form. Trace Lobos, all right? I'm all for it. Um, but I think Bergamo would be a good raid boss simply because he has a little ace up his sleeve. He can go giant, okay? He can also go giant big old giant raid boss for us all right if he's gonna be in the game maybe a raid boss i'm okay with that it's definitely in the files right definitely dated mind that all right but anyway he'd be huge asset all right huge asset all right moving along we got grand priest all right now i know what you guys think like really cg grand priest like he's not but like i said the raid bosses don't always have to be huge right 
Um, he could be a small guy, but man's power, right? And that's why I think he is. I think this dude's the most powerful guy in the show, you know? Um, he's very nice, right, looking, but he's, I think he's devious on the low. I think he does some dastardly deeds, right? I think he's messed up. You know? Um, I like Grand Priest, right? He's very, like, mysterious. We don't know what he's capable of, really. But putting him in the game could be fun, especially as a raid boss. Having this little dude slap you around a lot, giving you hard times, the little blades they give you, whatever they do to you, right? I would want this guy massive amounts of power and beating you up. The rewards could be pretty cool, you know, I guess. Um, but but it's still, nonetheless, I, I do want the Grand Priest in the game somehow. Like, again, we got his outfit, so maybe something else uh, they could do for us. I couldn't really think. But anyway, <laughs> moving along. Um, another one you guys see on my channel frequently is Garlic Jr. And not only just regular Garlic Jr., but the maxed out, buffed out Garlic Jr., all right? Big, big, buff, beefy guy, right? I, I want that guy in this game, okay? Because simply, it's so much power. It's a good raid boss and Mako Star, okay? Mako Star, why not, right? Send us to another dimension or to the Mako Star. Perfect. This can bring the dead zone level because that could be amazing for us. We can easily do that, at, you know, the uh, raid event there. I would love that, all right? The brand new level they could bring to us because I love Garlic Jr. and I love the Dead Zone. It's my favorite DBZ movie, right? And I want that outfit. Who doesn't want this outfit? Come on, man. We need this outfit. Let's go, man. Let's go. Great rewards, all right? Um, Now, there's some honorable mentions. All right, Harutagarn. All right, Um, again, man, I really want Harutagarn in this game. Um, I feel like this is the no-brainer. He definitely needs to be in here. We have Tapion. We have the Flute. We have, you know what I mean? We, we got so much stuff in here. Look at this, man. Come on, we are, you know, we just mess around and have a Rudigarn in here. Like, I would love that as a raid boss. I'd like to fight him, mess around, beat him up, anything, all right? Anything to get his outfit, his helmet, his headpiece, rewards, Tapion's outfit, any color, I don't care. Whatever gets me that, right? I'm tired of doing this stuff right here. I am, I'm really tired. Try it. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, next up, Ani Laza, right? Ani Raza or Ani Laza, whatever it is. That big freaky thing from the Dragon Ball Super Tournament that everyone fused into, right? The big robot. Um, I, I want that. I do want that as a raid boss. I feel like he'll be an excellent raid boss. It's like a mix of Janimba, too, because he does the, the the little portal dimension punches and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's like around the same, you know, you can do the same. Look at this. Come on. Who wouldn't want that? That could be annoying, right? But that's a, that could be also good for a raid boss excellent for a raid boss man um as you can see just going crazy all right going crazy absolutely good I, and the outfit the outfit speaks for itself though right we could definitely get that because i definitely see us definitely have him on the raid boss at the tournament of power hopefully he doesn't break the level i don't know how that would work coded in guys maybe all right all i'm saying is we should be able to get the rewards all right at least one of these three outfits something right and just spitballing all right um, yeah, and a lot, a little moral, a little bit of moral. I know people are looking at me and moral's not going to be in the game. It's only my, uh, CKG, you're an idiot. I hate you. I hate this channel, but we got this, right? I mean, we got this, Demi Grant. I mean, come on. I hate this one. No, no to that one. Ah, man, maybe moral as a, as a raid boss. Okay. But anyway, man, let me know what you guys think. And all right. Um, if you guys appreciate anything I had, make sure you hit that like button. And uh, for this new DLC 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I'll see you on the next episode, all right? Peace. Yeah.